I loved Maleficent when I was a little girl. She was my favorite character, my favorite Disney character. I was afraid of her and I loved her. Um, so when I had heard uh, rumors that there might have been, that there might be a Maleficent movie, I, I, um, I asked uh, around and asked what was going on and then I got a call. Um, so I was, very, I was very excited. So it happened very, very quickly. You get to know uh, who she was as a child and, and how she became evil. And I think, strangely, you will approach that christening scene differently. When you know what you know about her by the time you get to the christening, if we've done it right, you may, dare I say, be on her side. She's in slightly insane, extremely vibrant, a little wicked, has a big sense of humor. Um, so she's quite full on, you know, it's one of those characters that for me, you couldn't half do it. You, get, you know, once the horns go on, you start to, I, mind you, the first few days you knock your head on everything and, and you feel very silly and very awkward. And then, um, but when it all comes together, uh, especially the christening, where you suddenly, you, you can't believe, I feel so lucky I get to play her, you know, she's fun. Diabol is a bird who she turns into a man because she needs uh, someone to fly for her at a certain point. Um, and uh, she then turns him into many other things depending on what she needs. So this character played by Sam Riley is on occasion I'll turn Sam into a bird, sometimes I'll turn him into a wolf, sometimes I'll turn him into a horse and they all kind of somehow Sam has to be like the animals and the animals have to somehow be like Sam and so they're this interesting combination. She's a very innocent youth. She's, she's that kind of person that I think you see a lot of young people today where they're very passionate about you know environmental causes or the world or politics and she has that that they'll identify with and then she gets beaten down and she fights back and and then she becomes quite dark and loses her humanity completely. And then, uh, and then has to find it again. So I think, for me, the journey of playing her has been much heavier, much more emotional, and much more difficult an experience than I expected. The Pixies are three wonderful um, actresses, extraordinary actresses, um, who are playing the, the very famous, already famous Pixies. Um, you know them by color. <laughs> the, the green, pink, and blue, um, and they're they're just. I have a funny relationship with them because Maleficent hates them, so I get to uh, I get to banter with them, and, and uh, especially you know Amelda Stanton is just one of the most extraordinary actresses. So to actually be dressed myself with horns and you know having my own crazy moment and having her as a little fairy yelling at me in her crazy moment is one of the best crazy moments I've ever had on film. Elle is Aurora. Elle is, she is the, from the moment I met her, she is just sunshine. She's a wonderful, sweet, intelligent young woman. She's, um, she, for, for all my, when I was 14, I was quite dark. <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite in awe of her that she is, she's so, um, she holds herself. She's such a capable actress and she's such a strong person. She's very strong, which is nice because this, this Aurora is not, you know, just in love with the flowers and quite. She is elegant and beautiful and delicate and loving, but she's centered and she's, she's quite an impressive young woman.